sunset walk along sacred river Kavri. I am drawn to touch your sacred waters, waving sand dunes down into your holy mouth. Fingers feel your essence, River Kavri, River Kavri, River Kavri, River Kavri. I hear of quicksand consuming your river curves Chemicals transposing sand dredging tanks Where are you now? Sacred sandy earth Purity of your blessing River Cabri River Cabri River Cabri Truckers machinery line your river curves Clanging noise drowning out hummingbirds I'm safe in your Understood soil sold far away. Fear dissolving bare feet, creating a ways. I'm safe in your waters. I'm safe in your waters. I'm safe in your waters. River Cabri. River Cabri. River Cabri. Thank you. The bedroom blinds stand closed in the late afternoon sun. Vertical panels reflect a silhouette. Branches dance a shadow play where birds once gorged the fruit of the cherry tree. Her bark, her trunk, now wizened by many moons. You were the pipsqueak pup who fertilized her soil. The silence of your bark still haunts me, broken that day by the groan of pain when I moved your leg to help you lie down. Your eyes were a pool of helpless pleading for an absence you had no words for. Your ears listened only for the song of my voice. When I look down on you, tucked in the earth below, beach stones encircle you, worn smooth and white by the salt. You love to chase the seagull on hard, wet sand at low tide, past the stink of the clam flats, the jump of the foaming surf. Your legs twitch in hallowed sleep, still sprightly in their youthful gait. When I learn to read, look, Jane, See dog run, run dog run. I felt relief that I had found something that I could tell myself, a story. Your legs, your heart, I realize you were famous for your watch, fiercely loyal to your heart's urgent longing to close the gap that stood between us. When I pulled the chain, of the metal beads, the bedroom blinds snap open. Sunlight washes over me, and I look up. The bright blue sky 
reflects your playful prance, no longer afraid of thunder or lightning or sirens or fireworks. You run in fields of wildflowers. I thought I'd lost you. August 27th, 2001. The season is changing here now at Tupper Lake, New York. Nights are older, the leaves are turning and falling and the beers are making daily with rounds looking for food. Donald, my son and I plan to leave on Tuesday, September 11th, if New Jersey has cooled off. You don't have to read the following episode, but I had to write it. Last week, a sudden flare in the night sky startled me. It took a moment before I realized the vacationers next door had shot off fireworks. Panic swept through me. Every part of my body seemed on fire with fear when later I went to bed. I remembered the first time I had known terror. I was six years old. It must have been on a Saturday for we were home from school. My mother explained that she had some work to do upstairs and put me in charge of watching my baby sister. The baby was placed in a carriage and I was sitting on a floor in our foyer. It was a large, bright room and I sat beneath a beautiful stained glass lamp suspended from the ceiling. The baby was asleep and I felt quite proud of being in charge of her. Suddenly the front door burst open and my older brother Warren, who was 12, came running in with his friend Timothy who was carrying a gun, a long rifle. When my mother heard them, she came down from the second floor to the turn of the stairs and in a highly agitated voice yelled for Timothy to go home right away. Oh, Mama, don't be so fussy. This is the swell gun and it isn't loaded, see? And with that, he grabbed the gun, aimed it at the light fixture over my head and then shot it. The shot wasn't loud. The breaking glass fell quietly over me. The noise I heard was my mother screaming as she ran down the stairs, grabbed the gun, opened the door, threw the gun down on the porch steps to the pavement below, all the time screaming, get out, get out, get out! Don't have to come back again. Timothy was so ashamed. Warren was wild. How can I have friends if you're gonna throw them out of the house? On and on he screamed and finally ran out through the kitchen into the yard. September 18th. 2001. That was such a terrible day last week. One week ago, wasn't it? Donald and I left the Adirondacks on the morning of September 11th to drive home to New Jersey. We drove the whole day talking, but not listening to the radio. We had no idea what was taking place until we got home. Then we could see it from the end of our street across the bay, across the river. A huge, dark, billowing cloud from New York City. What a terrible time for us all. Over the next few days, many of the houses in our neighborhood would put flags out in memory. It reminded me of my grandmother telling me about the time that President Lincoln was assassinated. What a great tragedy it was for our country at that time. She remembered people put black cloth and bunting on their homes as a sign of mourning. And she also recalled that if people didn't do so, their houses were stoned. There are times I think people's religions and belief are such a horrible excuse for their behavior. Sometimes I think that I've lived long enough so I can be a go-between from the past times to now. And during times like this, I like to remember something that has helped me over the years. Be brave, even if you aren't. No one else can tell the difference anyway. I wish there was more I could say, but sometimes words have such little meaning. Please, please, take good care of yourself, your family, your loved ones, people in your memories, people in your hearts, people who have no hearts.
I've learned pathways through the city, make turns clued by a carpet store or particular iron fences. If I leave the path, I'm lost, all's lost. The closer I get, the more lost I become. I check out side streets, one ways. Pedestrians dive for doorways. Policemen smile, pretending not to notice my U-turns over sidewalks, mm -hmm. trash cans rattling. I circle endlessly. Stray dogs give up the chase, trot off board. The amical man hands me a map of the USA. When I flag down a passerby, he's the other stranger in town. As we walk the halls of evolution, we begin to see a design to climb out of the ocean and swim in the divine of all the steps we have taken. The last is hardest to find And it will be until we see We've been in the divine all this time Angels fly on paper wings High on my Christmas tree And try to remind me Angels I fail to see Be you and me How can there be separation Between us and divinity When all It fills infinity When we look in the mirror We are fooled so easily And we will be until we see We're right where we thought we'd be Eventually We only get there at the end Or understand Start lending a hand Be part of what is now Be getting to land Everyone you see Including you and me Whether you you 
year born. Old year gone. Old year gone. Times a wheel. Times a wheel. We ride upon. We ride upon. Round and round. Round and round. Until at last. Until at last. Our future has become our past. Our future has become our past. And that I'll lead you again after the next verse. At the end beginning of the year. The light is born, dies into darkest night, being personified and given a name by some, by others not. New year born. Let's say it with me. New year born, old year gone, time's a wheel we ride upon, round and round until at last our future has become our past. The yin-yang sound of one hand clapping begins, ends the year that it may carry us forward into whatever day, night is there for us to experience. New year born, old year gone, time's a wheel we ride upon, round and round until at last our future has become our past. Two sides of a coin to flip for yes or no. One coin to pay the piper, or the tax collector, as the case may be. That coin wheeling in the sky shines by day, reflects by night. New year born, old year gone, time's a wheel we ride upon, round and round until at last our future has become our past. There is beauty in the day, as well there is beauty in the night, Neither can exist without the other, nor is there any end without beginning, or beginning without end. New year born, old year gone, times of wheel we ride upon, round and round until at last our future has become our past. The wheel turns and turns, and we as spokes turn with it, returning to our source, whatever and wherever that may be, until we know that truth abides in every season of the heart. New year born, old year gone, times of wheel we ride upon, round and round until at last our future has become our past. Thank you. There is that image of a child we are given to represent the new year beginning. In the wordless story, the old man passes and the infant staggers on from there to age in turn. They are the same being. This is the supposed consolation. Like a wheel, we turn without sense of the travel, only the weight gathering then passing, gathering again. Perhaps faith assumes a purpose. This day, with its damage, cannot, and aches at what it evinces in brokenness. The innocents, their names written again and again until never is understood until forgotten into meanings only others will entertain. Beneath this dull metallic shell, darkening like a bruise, such a heaven as this, one moment seeming ashes become again the snow. Gathered here to the scene, the next day empty, shimmering, ever falling, into witness, cold and pure. Is this clear sight? Have the tears spent as necessary coin achieved their purchase?
Back in 1933, Procter and Gamble made history. They'd give away a thousand dollars free. And the letters sailed and the postcards flew from everywhere you ever knew. And not so far from the Staten Island Zoo was the dump that they all ended up in. Except for some lucky Belarusian All those stamps had gone to waste From every known and foreign place But just across the Arthur Kill was the way Where the ferry stopped and the tankers filled Was a gang of very enterprising children Who knew a man from Elizabethtown buy those stamps half penny a pound they could only figure out some way around oh the arthur kill was swift and wide the ferry cost too much to ride so they'd grab a hat box from the hall and learn to do the one arm crawl swim anthony swim Hold your hand up high Swim, Anthony, swim Keep those postage stamps dry Swim, Anthony, swim You gotta beat the tide Swim, Anthony, swim <coughs> do -do 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 -do. Well, Dad and Mom, they've both passed on Felt like an orphan for so long I miss their smiling eyes Reassuring voices And as I swim my way across this life As best I can I try to rise Above the wakes of greed The waves of choices And there's this one story I've been told That helps me hold my heart, my soul Up high against the undertow I think I hear, I think I see my father swimming next to me. Swim, Anthony, swim. Hold your hand up high. Swim, Anthony, swim. Keep those postage stamps dry. Swim, Anthony, swim. You gotta beat the tide. Swim, Anthony, swim. Thanks very much. Wrong way. Stop. Listen to your heart and your soul with kindness and balance. Forget the previous maps. Breathe deeply and choose your way again. Go. Try to keep your pace on the downhills and on the uphills. But I'm running the long downhill now with my feelings. But life is a big, wonderful way for your dreams. Can you see the horizon? Can you see your dream clear and strong? Not yet, it's blurry. Be calm. You will see. You are going the right way. Don't choose shortcuts. Just keep going. And I looked around me. I saw magical landscapes. Green leaves changing your colors, colors for red and gold. Trees trying to touch the sun. And the sun holding the trees with shine and power. I watched the life growing up around me. I thought about the beginning of everything. 
I remember each step, each accomplishment, each victory. Never was I alone on my way. I had my friends all the time. Sometimes they were changing their routes to stay with me. Other times I was changing my ways, my routes to stay with them. It wasn't anymore my map or their map, but ours. We are sharing the way. And I saw my dreams so clear and full of colors that I could touch. And I did my sprint with the soul filled of joy. And I crossed the horizon. Finish line? No. This is only the beginning. Thank you so much. <laughs> Muito obrigada. Then they